Here we have my uh, 2015 Toyota Tacoma. It's a short bed automatic. It's 4x4. Four four. It's the TRD off-road model with a factory electric rear locking differential. I purchased this truck back in 2016 with the intention of building it to be a capable all-around off-road vehicle. It's my daily driver. Uh, handles well on the local fire roads and trails here in Southern California, San Diego specifically, as well as in the deserts. Growing up in Southern California, uh, my interests for the outdoors have always been centered around what's been in my backyard. So the various beaches, Anza Borrego Desert State Park, as well as Joshua Tree National uh, Park, uh, the Imperial Sand Dunes, and the plethora of other mountain ranges, uh, San Bernardino Mountains, Idlewild, Big Bear, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, this video is intended to be a bit of a build rundown. Uh, it's what I've... Uh, done to help get me out in the remote areas easier, uh, have tons of fun uh, while I'm out there, uh, and also to ride very smooth in various conditions, specifically in uh, deep sand, uh, around rough terrains. Um, this isn't a specific like walk around video per se, although I had done a full loop of the truck, it's just kind of more of a a little quick uh, highlight here and there of the modifications that I have done to the truck. Uh, I'm no pro when it comes to video and editing work, so this is a bit of a learning experience for me, but it's kind of the purpose of this video is to uh, learn along the way, uh, share the different modifications that I found have worked for me uh, that have turned this already capable truck into a much more enjoyable and capable truck off-road. Um, this video is the iteration of how the truck sits currently and, and how it's been in its uh, this form the longest. Um, it hasn't been through a whole lot of changes throughout uh, throughout the time I've had this truck, but it's definitely um, had a few upgrades and then redos over the time. Um, so uh, let's see. When I uh, first purchased the truck in 2016, I drove it off a Chevy dealership lot. They didn't know much about the truck. Uh, it seemed like it was mildly modified from the previous owner. Um, it had 285 like heavy mud terrain wheels and tires from Pro Comp. There was a spacer lift up front as well as an add leaf in the back, and that was pretty much it. Um, I drove it like that for a while because obviously I was just getting into the truck, figuring out um, necessary modifications that I found would fit at the time my driving style and abilities and would also be uh, something to help learn the capabilities of this truck. Um, so let's start with the suspension components. Um, like I stated earlier, when I drove it off the lot, it just had the stock Bellenstein suspension uh, with a spacer lift up front and an Adelief leaf on the back. Um, I scored a pretty rad deal off a local dude to me and bought um, some Fox shocks front and rear along with some Total Chaos upper control arms uh, on Craigslist. And that was the first of the few major mods I started with. Um, it currently has uh, the Fox 2.5 coilover shocks with remote reservoirs. Uh, I have since upgraded the springs to a 14-inch 700-pound spring to help eliminate uh, an intense preload while still giving me a decent amount of lift up front. It also helps with the significant weight for my steel front bumper and the skids. Um, in the rear, uh, I ditched the stock length 2.5 uh, extended travel shocks and have gone to a 12-inch smooth body shock uh, with the remote reservoirs, and I've paired that with that Archive Garage relocation kit. Um, I've also uh, added the Bay Area Metal Fab 
uh, heavy duty shackle hangers and heavy duty shackles. Originally, I had a OME uh, Dakar leaf pack, the heavy duty, but it's since upgraded to the Deaver Stage 2 U402 pack. There's a Wheeler's U bolt flip bolt, U bolt flip kit, <laughs> and Timbrin active off road super bumps. I have those front and rear. Like I stated earlier, I picked some uh, Uniball upper control arms from Total Chaos up. And I've recently also picked up a set of the Expedition Series Uniball lower control arms. Um, I have some gusseting in there as well from the spindles and the cam, cam tabs. Um, full armor. Uh, it's from a now defunct San Diego based company called Pelfrey Built. I also scored a pretty sweet deal on Craigslist. Uh, the folks over at Bilstein were building a truck for SEMA and ended up uh, switching directions and going with a different company. So I was able to pick up uh, front and rear bumpers, uh, steel skids, and uh, rock sliders. Uh, great armor, awesome, awesome look on the Tacoba. But uh, yeah. Um, to round that out, I have some Bay Area Metal Fab bumper reinforcement brackets. Uh, one of my most current modifications has been actually to the drivetrain. I have recently re-geared my Tacoma. I went with Revolution brand 488 REM polish gears. Uh, I also have the East Coast Gear Supply cam shell bushing um, to eliminate the needle bearing. It's even pretty serious vibrations. It's a very common thing that a lot of uh, Tacoma owners end up doing. It's a night and day difference for me. Let's see. I have uh, five, so four and a full-size spare. Cooper ST Max tires. Um, they are the 255-8017, the skinny 33s or pizza cutters, as a lot of folks call them. I also have five Stealth Custom Series F5 wheels. Uh, these are the 17 by eight and a half to help uh, keep everything nice and tucked into uh, to the truck there. I didn't like a whole bunch of like poke or big, huge, like heavy tire hanging out. Um, a few little odds and ends here and there. Like, of course, some fender trimming for wheel clearance, a uh, cab mount chop to uh, allow for more clearance, especially when stuffing those tires up in the wheel wells. Uh, I originally had a all pro... Um, cab height rack with a rooftop pent for quite a while and spent a, a good amount of time in that, but it's since gone back to ground uh, tent sleeping um, and have everything pretty much tucked into my uh, snog top. Um, some Thule aero bar roof racks. This allows me to cart around my surfboards or place anything else uh, up top because I do have the five foot bed which makes moving things a little tricky, but it's the great thing about this truck. I don't really use it to move a whole lot of things. I have a scan gauge to OBD reader. Um, I also have some Cali raised amber fog lights and a Cali raised 20 inch light bar, which I haven't installed in the truck just yet. But so far that is my build. Um, I'm still learning as I'm going, but I find that in this current uh, configuration, this truck has been a dream to drive. It handles amazing off-road and it's all I could really ask for in a vehicle.